How's it going guys it's Najam welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to get emulators on the PSP to turn it into probably one of the best emulation portable devices because as you know the PSP has um, a lot of homebrew stuff out there. Now before we actually get into the tutorial I just want to show you the outcome so you know what you're going to get. Uh, so you do need custom firmware for this so I'll have another video on the um, I've already made it like a while back and you can go ahead and check that out. We got some few emulators here. I'll get into those later on. Uh, but I wanna talk about RetroArch because I wanted to use this and there's a there's a problem with this so I'm just gonna show you that right now uh, before we get into the other emulators. The other ones work perfectly fine. It's just this one which I thought it would work and although it is available for the PSP um, unfortunately I don't really recommend it because of you know how it works and everything. So here's RetroArch, um, you've got obviously the usual stuff, load core content and everything but the problem with this is if you go ahead and load content uh, let's see uh, PSP game you wanna load Game Boy Advance games over here. Now you would obviously have these um, set up when you get the emulator separately. I had all these ROMs in one folder but um, because I got the other emulators. Now you can either leave them in just one folder or you can put them in individual folders which I've done right now. Um, let's go on Emerald. Um, now MGBA does not work for some weird reason. Um, the uh, I think this one does work. Oh no, actually, MGBA does work. Temp TBA doesn't, which is the one on right now. Now it is slow as well, mm, just for some weird reason. Okay, it's finally loaded. There we go. Um, now there's no problem with this, I've actually resized the whole thing, I'll just put the volume up so you can hear. So that's Game Boy Advance. Um, now if you can't play Game Boy Advance, it's not going to be able, you know, you, there's no point even trying the others. Um, I'll go ahead and press a hold start button. Uh, I'll go ahead and close the content and if you try to close or go out of Retro arc with something loaded it just freezes on this screen here So don't bother with that. Um, let's go on load content. I guess we'll try um, NES let's See if this one even works. So you've got quick NES mm. We'll try this one we'll see if this one works, but Retro arc unfortunately just doesn't and besides it's really really slow as well if you can actually see that um, now that's probably because of my memory card might be um, but you know the others don't have a, much of a problem with it so I don't know why this one does um, RetroArch unfortunately is slow it's just really really slow um, so even though it does exist and it works it doesn't really mean it's going to work properly um, and it's I think it's crashed what the heck so that one doesn't work uh, anyways that's, I think I've got the point across. Uh, let's show you the other emulators that actually do work. Uh, what I'm going to do is just delete RetroArch. It, it just doesn't really work and everything. Um, I would have liked to use it because obviously, you know, you can have your save data on other uh, devices, PS4, PS3, uh, Nintendo 3DS and everything. And they'll all work. This one doesn't. So that I believe is uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color. So you can go on that one. Um, I don't know if the music is copyright. Now this emulator is one of my favorites now because of the user interface. So I'll just go ahead and load into it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. Um, so as you can see, it is um, is really, really nice interface. Uh, I can actually zoom in here. I don't know why I'm not zoomed in. Okay. Um, no, that's not. That's not. That's not funny. Go one, two, three. I know I don't really care about the battery life, but yeah, whatever. Um, now let's go ahead and load, uh, load a ROM. So this can play. Game Boy Color and Sigma Master System, I think. Oh. 
Well, I've got Pokemon Red, that's the only one I have got uh, for this one. Um, I guess we'll try this. Um, this one works really, really well though. 60 FPS and the game looks good as well. 100% um, speed. So obviously, um, this one does work. And you can actually change the colors on it at once. Oh. Um, left and right. Uh, you can go on to the render, I think it is. Um, and you can change some stuff here, color vibrance and then stuff like that. Um, or if you go on to Game Boy, you can actually change the color palette. Uh, anyways, that works. Um, and it's fast as well, it's pretty fast. Um, <clears throat> that's the best emulator I've seen so far with the Game Boy colors and everything. Um, you know, the way it looks and everything. So I, I do like that. Now let's go ahead and uh, show you some. SNES, this unfortunately does not work uh, at 100% on the PSP which is unfortunate because it would have been really really nice ok so now you have to find the freaking ROMs alright whatever um, see they got some ROM Super Castlevania, um, I don't know which one to go on really, um, is it out of focus? Okay, so this game, as you can see, um, I don't know, it, um, it's only got 30 FPS, is that like the f maximum speed, oh there we go, 60, um, As you can see, it doesn't run at full speed, uh, and when you get into the... Um, f ...stage, with all the effects going on, it's just 30 FPS. So, hmm. At least it's smooth FPS, it doesn't stutter the audio as well, so... Let's go on to the next one. We know that one works, but not at full speed. Uh, I didn't really expect it, uh, but I, I, I'll show you the Game Boy Advance, which I do play a lot. So that's GPSP. Um, you'll be, this is the easiest one to get as well. It's actually pretty easy. Um, I, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to get the emulators. I will obviously show you how to get them anyway and stuff like that. I'm just showing you the outcome over here right now because I want to have some fun now. Um, this emulator is, um, you do need a BIOS for it, so you're gonna have to get that. Now if you press the uh, home button, um, the thing with this emulator is, when I first started playing it and stuff like that, it, it didn't actually save the game. So, and this is Game Boy Advance, as you saw earlier, it didn't play this at full speed on um, RetroArch. And it saved it, so I'll show you how to actually save these as well. Um, I mean, Route 101, um, and it does look pretty nice, uh, but I do think... I want it as uh, resolution 1, so that's obviously um, unscaled. So, as you can see, it looks much nicer, but it's just too small. I mean, I'm alright with it, but uh, whatever. Um, now, here, if you go into. It's not here, uh, it's in MISC. So, if you go in MISC, um, so this over here, update backup, uh, make sure you set that to automatic, it's only on exit only all the time. Set that to automatic, and what it'll do is. Every time you save the game in here, it, it'll actually save the game. So what I did was, when I saved the game, um, I just exit. Um, the home thing came up and I just went off. Um, but I don't think you're going to do that because it actually didn't save it. So, let's go ahead and do this. <coughs> and I'll show you... Um, let's go now if I save this game here um, this LED is gonna start blinking which it didn't do first um, so as you can see it blinks that means it's saved um, and now I can just exit and that works um, let's load a different game uh, Area of Sorrows one of the really, really good ones okay so 
Oh, well, I don't have this one. Yeah, here we go. Load saved game. Okay, so I'll save this one as well. Um, I've actually been playing this. Oh, I didn't. Oh, that was on the other system. Okay. I'll show you a secret over here. Come on, you piece of crap. Alright, there we go. I don't know, there, were, there might have been somewhere else over here, I don't know. Just die already. Alright, we'll save the game. <clears throat> and um, that's pretty much it, I guess. This is the best emulator. Oh, I forgot to show you NES, which is actually right at the bottom. But I don't think it's the point. That one runs at 100% speed as well, and it's got um, speed as well, so you can actually make it go fast and stuff. That is right down here after all these good games I've got, which I don't really play. Uh, here it is Nestor J. Um, yeah, that works. Um, but apart from that, um, that's, that's it. Uh, I'll show you how to get these, and um, I won't be jumping back onto this. Okay, so to get the emulators, you just need to go on to this website here. So it's wololo.net. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll leave this link in the description so you can just go ahead and click on it. So it'll bring you to this page. And as you can see, it's also available for the PS Vita. So that's pretty nice. So if you go down here, uh, you've got all the emulators that you can get. So you can either click on these or you can just go scroll down and it'll just show you them. So as you can see, I've got um, the Vectrex over here, you've got the Atari uh, 7800, you've got the Game Boy Color and everything. So these are the ones that I've got. I've got the SNES one. So you just go ahead and click on these and it'll take you to the download page and all you have to do is just download them. There's a the Game Boy Advance emulator. So you've also got the NDS and um, some others as well. Now, this doesn't mean that you, they'll actually uh, work at full speed because the DS emulator uh, while it does work on the PSP, it's obviously not going to be at full speed because that's a much more uh, power hungry system compared to like the Game Boy Advance. So after you've downloaded them, you'll get something like this. Not all of them. Well, I've downloaded all of them, but you you can only download the ones that you need. Um, in this case, uh, you've got Master Boy, Nesta J, um, Game Boy Advance Emulator and SNES uh, version. So I'll just go ahead and move these on to the uh, separate folder so it'll make it easier. So you'll get these once you've downloaded them and you'll need 7-zip to extract them and um, so all you have to do is right click and then 7-zip and then extract to um, another folder because don't extract them on this place. Uh, always extract them in a, a folder on their own. So what that's going to do is make another folder now you can get rid of this one. Um, and then you've got Master Boy. I'll just go ahead and extract this one here. Um, just for an example, you can you have to do this for all of them, but I'm just going to get rid of those because I've already got them. Um, so this is the Game Boy Advance emulator. Now, if you go into this, you've got another another folder, um, and that's wrong because that's not what you want. You want this folder to be inside just one folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this folder out here, and then I'm going to um, delete this one. Um, so you need it like this, a one folder which is emulator's name or whatever, inside that you need eboot.pbp file. So that's all you need. Uh, leave the rest, um, so just one folder and inside that folder and now this is going to have, okay so this one comes with um, the whole PSP file thing. So I'm just going to go into this and I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to put it here and I'm going to delete that one. In fact, I'll actually, I'll actually go get those other ones back because I think this will be a bit confusing for the idiots out there. Um, I'll go ahead and extract Master Boy. So go ahead and delete that. So inside this, you just need the eboot.pbp file. So that's all you need. Now, if you get another folder inside this folder, then you need to move that out. And then what you can do is just place the ROMs inside these folders. And that's all. What you need to do is move these folders. So I'll go ahead and select them all. Um, I'll cut them and here's where so you go ahead and plug your PSP into the PC and that's mine over here and you'll come up with this um, so you have a PSP folder you go into that and um, you go into the game folder 
and you just paste them over here um that's all so i've got them over here already so i'm not gonna do it i'll go ahead and show you that so i've got the um game boy advanced emulator over here and then i've got in here in roms as you saw before i think i've got the roms over here um and then if you go into the other one master boy you got this here and then you've got the game boy color roms and that's over here and it's also got a save there in here as well that's nice there's that and then you've got you know nesta j also got the roms in here um castlevania and nes game um and then this one i showed you roms um you've got the smc files over here um now for the um gpsp which is the gba emulator you're gonna need the bios now i can't give you this but you're gonna have to go find it on your own it does not come with it so you're gonna have to go find that before it actually works in here you've got the roms and then you've got the save data somewhere as well uh here you go so that's pretty nice so that'll all work um and once it's done all you have to do is well i'm just gonna delete retro because that's some bollocks right get rid of it take enough space don't really work um delete this folder that is made as well and then after that you know uh, so you've got them like this i should show you once more in the root folder you've got isos in here um you got the psp folder inside that you got the game folder and then inside that you have the emulators with the roms inside them um all you have to do is just um eject and then put this back in your psp and you're ready to go so that's that's pretty much it. i'll leave a i'll leave this link in the description uh, so all you have to do is click on it and then just start downloading and stuff um, if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below i'll answer them thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you guys in another video